is possible to be stylish without compromising your spiritual values, but how easy is it to be a good host in a multicultural world when tastes and norms can differ so radically? As the concierge at a five-star Cape Town property, Masood Sadullah deals with discerning and demanding guests on a daily basis, and his ability to keep them smiling earned him an international award recently. Karishma chatted to him about what it means to be a holder of the Golden Key. If there's one thing that Masood isn't expected to arrange, it's the weather. But it seemed that he'd been able to call in a favour the day Karishma came to call. Then again, he is one of only 12 holders of the prestigious Golden Keys Award in South Africa. I'm lucky enough to travel quite extensively and speaking from experience, I know that having a concierge at your service can take a trip from drab to fab in a matter of minutes. But these magic makers are often overlooked. So today, I'm going to meet up with one of the highest ranking concierges in South Africa to find out exactly what it takes to be the creme de la creme of first class service. Hailing from Rondebosch East and currently head concierge at a five-star Cape Town property, Masood is also the current holder of the Concierge of the Year Award and counts the Saudi royal family among his highly satisfied guests. Hi Masood, welcome to Mela. Thank you so much for having me. Could you take me through the typical day in the life of a concierge? My day starts with the morning meeting where we discuss all our arrivals that's coming in for the day, all the VIPs that we have in the house, all the operations so that everyone's on the same page. Thereafter, I relay all that information back to my team and I check all the transfers that's happening for the day because of course I'm responsible for all the logistics. We confirm any lunch reservations with the restaurants and just dealing with guests throughout the course of the day. How did you get into the industry? I actually started out in a surf store where I was selling wetsuits and skateboards and all sorts of things. And it was that first interaction that I had with customers that really inspired me. You have just been awarded a golden key. Tell me a bit more about that. It was an amazing experience because I was invited to London where I was pinned by the president of the clay door. So it was a very, very special moment for me. So as you can see on my lapel, I wear the golden keys. And it's just to show that you are part of a very exclusive and prestigious concierge society. There's so many five-star hotels around the world, tens of thousands. And there's only about 4,000 members in the world. So it guarantees our guests the best service and our philosophy and mission statement is friendship through service. You obviously have to have a very good knowledge of the city you're working in. I'm born in Cape Town so I know a lot about Cape Town and the most important thing of a concierge is that he uses his time. So on my, my days off I'm spending my own time learning about new things, going to new places and always keeping abreast with what's happening in the city. What do you love most about the city? Well, I work, you know, right by the ocean and by the mountainside. The nature is incredible. There's so many activities that you can do. It's a vibrant city. The people are incredible. I'm a foodie and there's the most incredible restaurants in Cape Town. What are some of your best suggestions for someone who's visiting Cape Town for the first time? I actually have a place that I'd like to show you. Should we go? We can go right now. Masood's latest discovery was within earshot of the ocean with the tang of salt on the sea breeze. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> so Karishma, this is why we come here, for their amazing cotados and their almond croissants. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my word. <laughs> How good does that look? It looks incredible. <laughs> Masood, what are some of the most important lessons you've learned along the way? Always be yourself, that's very important. Always be confident and positive and full of energy and charming. Concierges are known to be charming, so I think that those are the most valuable lessons that I've learned. Now, I'm sure there must be some funny and maybe not so funny moments along the way. Absolutely, we had a very famous guest arriving and I was ready standing with a tray of towels waiting for her and you know, as us concierge, we strive for perfection and this was my moment of truth and as she was approaching, I thought I'd compose myself. And what do I do? I hand over two refresher towels, hand it over to her with the one dangling, it almost fell over. And I was so embarrassed that I had such a simple task. And you know, she just laughed at it because she was so gracious. And uh, yeah, it was very funny. <laughs> well, I suppose you just have to learn to take that in your stride. Oh, absolutely. Masood, thank you so much for spending the afternoon with me. You have been absolutely wonderful. But I have to say, this looks so delicious. I cannot wait to get tucked in. Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm. 
That is amazing. Kevin.